Welcome from Nordic Film Days Lubeck. My name is Wendy Mitchell. I'm the series curator here, and I'm delighted that one of the series we're presenting this year is Prisoner. It's a big hit from Denmark already for DR, and we have the show's writer and creator, Kim Foops Akkusen. Uh, Kim, thank you for visiting us in sure. Lübeck. Um, tell us a little bit where the idea for Prisoner comes from. It's about these prison guards. It's such an immersive experience. Yeah, well, it, it, it all started with the, the location. Because I read in the paper that this prison, which is like an old fa famous Danish prison, really run down, but it's been there always, uh, that it was going to be emptied okay. because they built a new one, uh, a, a fancy prison somewhere else in Denmark. So they would empty it and tear it down at some point. And I thought, a prison, an empty prison, we had to do something. This so is I the would, writer's mind. Yes, yeah. uh, because it's always a problem to be in prisons because it's loaded with inmates and there's a lot of security issues. So, so having this entire prison, I mean the yard, everything, uh, that was like too much to, to let go. So this is why I went to DR with, with mm. the idea that we did a series in, in, in there. Yeah. And obviously we've seen a lot of prison shows over the years, but this one feels different. Partly because it's it's looking through the eyes mostly of the guards. Yes. Why was that interesting to you? Well, I I did once did a feature film in, in in a wing in a prison in Denmark, and and uh, I mean the gangsters has always you know been the favourites of, of uh, filmmakers because they they're, they're armed and dangerous and they have tattoos. But I was looking at these guards, I mean, and they they're entering this very hostile environment in a blue shirt, underpaid, every day. And I was like, wow, who are these people? I mean, what is that like? I mean, to, to go in there and always have to, you know, watch your back and, and, and as a daily life job. And so, so I began talking to the guards instead of talking to the inmates. Mm -hmm. uh, later on, I talked to yeah. some inmates also, but, but the, the, the basics of the research was, was uh, and a, a guard that, that uh, acts, is acting in the series also. Oh, okay. We had several guards uh, as in there, and we had several former inmates as, uh, as inmates. Some of them knew each other, and they were like, oh, hi. <laughs> well, it does feel so authentic. It just really brings you into this world in a way I felt like I've never seen with a prison film or TV show. So yeah, can you tell us a little bit about that research and what you learned about what these, what it's really like to work in a prison? Yeah, we had the, the two directors, Frederik Hill and Mika Noor. Mm. Mika Noor is an old uh, do, did documentary before, mm. so he, he, he's very much mm. into, you know, make it look like real life. Yeah. And, and we, we were like in sort of a writer's room together, we developed together and had this, this more than one prison guard, but as, all the time we could ask. Has this happened or could it happen? This were the two questions always, because we didn't want to do something that couldn't happen or yeah. never, uh, never happened or, or couldn't happen. So, so this was like, and he was like walking us through uh, uh, all these uh, things that goes on in a prison was beyond my imagination. Hmm. I, I couldn't have come up with it. I, I had to, you know, someone had to hold my hand and say, this yeah. is, this is it, you know. And also this for the, for the actors, the small things, uh, one prison guard said, if I see feature film from a prison and the prison guard is looking at his keys, I'm out. Because I know we don't. We know we have to, you know, all the time be alert so we can feel the right key. We feel it. Oh. So don't, don't look. And they had, you know, they had to, to teach the actors, you know, how oh. to behave, how to, how to enter a cell. Yeah. They, they, they do the, the clack clack before they put the key in okay. to warn the inmate. Like We're coming in now. Uh, so you can. Oh, it's these little details. Yeah, yeah. yeah I need I'm, to go back and watch. And we even love more. that. Yeah. Uh, me and, and the directors were like, this is, yeah. <laughs> this is where we yeah. uh, want to be. Yeah. You know, uh, amazing cast, including Sophie Grable, David Densick, and a, a newcomer. I've got to tell you, Saint yes. Yusuf Wayne yeah. Wittfeld, Wittfeld, yeah, uh, who's amazing. Also, um, how did it help them shooting in a real prison? Do you think it helped the mood? Oh, yeah. All the actors talked about the environment and, and the, the, I mean, this is the walls talking to you when you could go there because, you know, the, the writing from the wall, the scratching and everything uh, of former inmates, you know, making a mark. I was here. Uh, so, so I think it, it, when you enter, it's like, oh my God, this is not, this is not a friendly house. Yeah. Uh, and they, they went into days of, uh, of education. 
with with the prison guards, you know, telling them how to behave, how to walk. You walk behind the inmate. You don't walk in front of the inmate because you don't never know, uh-huh. and so on. So you have all the security and, oh. and way of moving around, like the dance between guards and, and inmates. Yeah, it does. Yeah, that's a nice way to put it. The dance, the choreography yeah. <laughs> of how they actually move yes. with each other. Um, you're here with us in Lubeck. We're so glad you could come. Um, and you've worked on many films, and also TV shows, um, but on the TV side, you don't always get to see it with an audience and talk to no, them, no. because people are watching at home. Yeah, exactly. So here in Lubeck, you know, last night, today, um, yes. what's it mean to you to get to see it with an audience? I think this is kind of my number one in, in attending festivals, is, is, it's meeting the audience. Yeah. I mean, also nice to meet filmmakers from yeah. around the world, but still the audience, because you don't have that, especially in each series, you don't have the audience. You have numbers from the broadcasters, but, but you know, meeting the Q and A's and you know, what what comes up, what's interesting, what what what's the experience? This, right. this is this is it for me at, at festivals. Right, great. So, what's you've been to Lubeck before? Um, have, so, yeah. what what do you like about the city? This festival? What's what's unique about it? I like that it's it's. You have the sense of you know an area that, that you can overlook. You can walk around. You can. I, I think that's that makes it a really pleasant stay. You know because it's 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 not like the Berlinale or or, or the Cannes. It's it, you can get around and you meet the same people and and you can get in to screenings if you want to. Okay. So yeah, friendly vibe. Friendly yeah. vibe and and uh, yeah, uh, I think that's. When you've been to a lot of festivals, friendly vibe is a big thing. Yes, <laughs> good. Um, and yeah, what do you hope the audience can reflect on after watching Prisoner or take away from watching this amazing series? We talked a lot about freedom mm. uh, making the series that, that uh, obviously if you're in prison, you don't have it at all. But, but outside, there's a lot of other prisons. You know, you can, if you're a parent, uh, you are bound to be a parent forever. Uh, if if you have fallen in love with someone, that's also a, a lack of freedom. Your sexuality, your your temper, your body. You, I mean, you know, there's a lot of things that that kind of makes you you don't have any option in the world. Mm. You you are bound for a lot of reasons. Mm. Uh, so so that I would hope they would reflect about that. And also, of course, punishment. What, what do we do? I mean, mm. what, how, how do we act in front of those who doesn't follow the rules? I mean, obviously, we have to do something if you are violent or, or mm. if you have killed someone. You have we have to do something, but it, is, it seems we don't we don't have we haven't found the answer to it. Mm. Nothing comes out of prisons better than they came in. It's always the same or worse. Yes. Yeah, this is what we hear. Yeah, best thing out of prison this year is your show, Prisoner. So, Kim, <laughs> congratulations Thank on the you. show. Thank you so much for joining us in Lubeck, sure. and thanks to everybody for joining us here. Thank you. Thanks.